Controller or mouse? Controller or mouse? That's always the question, right? Oh my god, controller players have aimbot. No, they don't, guys. And I'm gonna go through this video, the ups and downs of each side, and we're gonna find out what's truly the best. Now, what we're gonna do in this game is I'm gonna get one kill on controller, then I'm gonna switch to mouse, and we're gonna go back and forth through the whole game and see how long we can last. Now, first up, we got controller. Now, controller's always been what I play on, so it feels really comfortable to me. And that's a big thing when you're playing a game. You wanna feel comfortable. You don't wanna feel awkward and always be having to think about the buttons you're hitting. Now, that's gonna happen if you switch to mouse. You're gonna have to start thinking about what you're doing. You're gonna mess up a lot. So here on controller, I'm not thinking, I'm totally acting out of muscle memory. I love it, I'm comfortable. But we got an AI right here, I'm gonna go hit him with the primal shotgun, take him out. Now we're gonna switch to mouse. Now the thing about mouse with me is I feel like I hit more shots as crazy as it sounds. Let's see what we could do with this guy. See, I'm a little sloppy on my builds, but my aiming, I feel very precise very clean now some people think no if you're on controller you hit every shot and that couldn't be so far from the truth there are them players that hit almost every shot right you got like face way ghost aiden uh i mean there's so many good players but i mean that's just a handful of players compared to the millions of players that play you can be very limited on controller for one your sense whenever i'm on mouse i can spin around do 360s and i just stop my hand where i want to shoot got another AI brute here. Great. Let's go ahead and run up here and primal him out the game. Let's see who we got out here. We're on mouse now. I do have some very strange keybinds, but I made them customized to me. He hits me for a little bit. I'm going to laser him with the drum gun, push through. I got no more mats, so I'm going to have to take him out. See how I spinned around and was able to shoot him, and I hit almost every single shot. That's what I'm saying. I hit more shots on mouse now we all know zimmy on tiktok right the guy that everybody claims has soft aim this guy right here this is zimmy the yellow skin he hits a lot of shots now because he hits so many shots people think that he has soft aim but he definitely doesn't the reason why he hits so many shots is because he has a really good sense which is actually very low and he's on mouse you can absolutely beam people on mouse i promise you that if y'all want to check out that full video i did on him i will link it at the end of this video now you can beam people on either platform you may be on controller and absolutely laser someone one fight but then miss every shot the next and it's not because your aim's bad it's because of the bloom and the bloom is completely random it's up to the game whether you hit or not now the same thing on mouse you're either gonna hit your bloom or you're gonna miss your bloom but i find it very easy to control what you're shooting at on mouse but this one here is gonna be on controller and i do beam this guy on the second shot here that was a good little laser. And I say, I just feel very comfortable on controller, so I push up here. I'm not thinking about the buttons I'm hitting. I'm acting on complete muscle memory. I pop him 92, spray through. Uh, he drops down. I chase down here after him, bam. Easy kill, it's like nothing. But coming up here in a bit, I'm gonna show you some situations where I actually miss my controller shots, but I never miss my mouse shots. Now here's one thing that's fantastic about mouse is your editing. It's gonna feel very smooth, you're gonna hardly miss them peanut butter edits, top right, you're gonna hit them almost every time. Let me hit this little corner here, corner here, reset, reset. The resetting is so smooth on scroll wheel, it's absolutely insane. I say, I hardly ever miss my edits, and my resets, I never miss. Now let's switch to controller. I'll show you how much slower it is, which some people may be very fast on controller. But, I mean, that's just they're very good at the game. They've practiced it a lot. You see how I missed that little peanut butter edit? I'm going to miss them a lot of times on controller, probably because I don't practice it that much, but it just doesn't feel as smooth as it feels on mouse. Now, one big thing about mouse and keyboard or controller is if you don't have the right settings, talking like the right senses, the right keybinds, you may may not play this game as good as you could or any game for that matter but mostly I'm talking about your sense if you don't have the right sense you're not gonna hit your shots they start playing a new game they never open up their settings and they're wondering to themselves why ain't I hitting no shots I'm so bad at this game but if they would just take a second out of their day go move that sense around probably lower then they would start hitting a lot of shots 
I don't know what these guys are doing over here, but they were teaming, high-fiving, and then the other one's running the other way. Now, I'm gonna be hip-firing here a lot. I'm not gonna hit very much, but then I end up hitting the last shots. But I say, the right sense is everything, and it is so crucial. It may be the most important thing of your whole entire gaming career. And don't always think high sense is better. Low sense will make you hit a lot of shots. Oh my god, I get beamed, of course. Let me hit this med kit, let them fight. Let's go ahead and push up here, see if we can't get this kill. What's up, boy? I'm a controller player, what's good? Start spraying at him, and he lasers me, of course, and he's out. So I'm gonna rotate my AR to my third slot. Like I said, that's where I like to keep it when I'm playing mouse. It's completely different than whenever I'm on controller. Controller, you're just rotating, right? R1, L1, you're just going back and forth, back and forth. But here, I hit one button and I go right to that gun. I use scroll wheel up for my shotgun. Feels fantastic. Look at that beam on mouse. That is fantastic. And that is why Zimmy is so good. Unfortunately, he hits me with a rocket launcher, but is what it is. And get down here. He got the wall. Let's see what I can do here. I miss a shot there, unfortunately. I'm not playing the greatest as I usually play on mouse, but I did clean up the kill. Sometimes I play so good on mouse, I'm thinking to myself, why would anybody play on controller? But other times I get frustrated. I'm like, nah, I'm going back and I'll go back to controller and I'll play for like a day, but then right back to mouse. I don't know what this guy's doing above me. He wants to sit in storm apparently. So I'm gonna go over here. We are on controller. I'm gonna see if I can't beam him here. What's up, dude? I got a scar, bro. And I'm on controller. What's up? What's up, boy? Oh my god, aim assist, aim assist. Has nothing to do with aim assist. I was just aiming at him. And I had a scar. What do you expect? But every time I go back to controller, I feel limited. I say I feel comfortable, but I feel limited on the things I can do. My editing feels so bad. I just want to get off of it right away. I'm like, I hate editing on controller. But my building doesn't feel very good on mouse. Like some straightforward building feels fine, but like my complex building does not feel good. So if like I'm in a box fight, I want to be on mouse and keyboard every time I box fight. I feel like I do very good. But when I'm outside fighting like PG, I need to be on control. Now that could be partially due to my keybinds. I may need to be switching them up some so that I could start building easy. Okay, let's go ahead and give this dude a beam here. What's up, boy? Uh, yes, sir. Now, I didn't hit every shot there. My aim was a little bit sloppy, but got the job done. I mean, all in all, we're doing pretty good this game playing as a hybrid player. I mean, I've straight up got half the kills on mouse, half the kills on controller. I wish I could take some things from my controller play and some things from my mouse play and just put them together. I'd be a god tier player then. Let's go ahead and push up here to this fight, see if we can't do something. I am on controller. I'm going to try to make a play. Couldn't get that through miss that shot see i may not miss that shot on mouse i'm gonna go ahead and just get out of here and reposition myself okay the best play here is just let him rotate this way and i'll try to give him a beam uh how you like that dude storm holding uh-huh all right this dude's 100 percent dead there's no way he makes it out 52 lucky shot nice get us a thick pump get us full minis no white health but Looking good. Now, I think I headshot Bo somebody here in a minute on mouse. Yeah, it's this guy right here. Headshot Bo. What's up, boy? 222. Now, this is what I'm saying. If you're on mouse, you got the right sense. You got the right bind. You feel comfortable on it. You could dominate this game. Now, think about all the pros that you watch. They're mostly on mouse and keyboard. There are some that are on controller, but the majority of them are on mouse and keyboard. And they know, just like anybody knows, if you can get good on mouse and keyboard, you will dominate. And I said it before and I said it again. Dominate. But I'm going to go ahead and win this game on controller because my last kill was on mouse. So I'm going to show y'all something here that I never do on mouse. Watch this. I'm going to miss that shot. I never miss that shot on mouse. I swear to you. I'm going to go ahead and switch to mouse here. I'm going to show you how clean my editing and what my shot would be like. Bam. Pure perfection. I never miss that shot on mouse. 
Now this video was meant to be controller versus mouse and that's exactly what it was. I played half the time on controller, half the time on mouse. But if y'all didn't get the vibe from the video, I'm pretty much endorsing mouse and keyboard as being the ultimate thing you can play on. So basically what I'm saying is if you got the right sense and you feel comfortable on mouse, you're going to be a million times better than you ever was on controller. But don't get me wrong, you can be a controller god, but you can also be a god of gods on mouse. I'm going to go ahead and show y'all a couple of my really good clips on mouse just to show y'all the potential. So this dude's going to come out here. I'm going to come out, perfect headshot, out of the game, very quick, very clean. Here's another clip I got in game in arena. Let's get a stink bow with the diamond. Nice. Nice little hit there. Now I'm going to wait for him to come out and bam. Now this dude's going to spray into my box. You're going to see me do a 180 flick shot right to the head. And this is the reason why mouse is so much better. Now this is the last clip I'm going to show y'all. I have my friend Flaming Rick here. I'm going to be using my AK. First I'm going to spray at him on mouse. Then I'm going to spray at him with controller. You see how it's bouncing all over the place on controller? The reason why is because there's recoil on this AK. And so it's bouncing and it's harder to control with the two little sticks. But on mouse, all I have to do is hold it tight and drag it down a little bit. And it's a perfect shot. But at the end of the day, guys, it's totally up to you what you want to do. If you're already playing very good on controller, maybe stick with controller. If you're feeling like you've reached a peak or you can't be that good on controller, hey, maybe it's time to try something new. But I hope this this video helped y'all in some way or another and I hope y'all have a fantastic day.